back to another Heart to Home devotional. My name is Drake, and today I'll be sharing out of Colossians chapter 3, verses 8 through 11. It says, But now you yourselves are to put off all these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. And so in verse eight, starting off, it says, but now you yourselves are to put off all these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Um, So this is just the first half of us being created new. As soon as we accept Christ into our lives, he makes us new. He removes those chains and that bondage that held us back when we were still in the world. But we are born again into Christ. Um, And walking in Christ, uh, as we go into verse 9, it says, Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds. So, uh, in walking with Christ, um, we have to continuously say no to the world. Uh, as a devil always tries to trip us up, always tries to find a weak area and make us fall. But we, like I said before, we are made new in Christ. We are born again and our chains are removed from us. We are to, we are called to put off the old man with everything that he did in the past. And it can be hard, it can be hard, but the thing is God keeps no records of wrong. He does not have a list of everything bad that we've ever done But the thing is, the devil does. And the devil tries to use that against us over and over and over again. But if we lean on the lies that the devil tells us and feeds us, we're never going to walk in that freedom that God has for us. So we have to walk in that truth that God has for us. And then going on in verse 10, it says, And have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Um, And so... um, God tells us that we need to actively put on the new man. Um, So that means, like I said before, constantly saying no to the world. Because there will be times um, where the devil um, gets us, you know, tries to hit us right in the liver, you know, get the body punch in. Um, But it's like Jesus in the wilderness. When he um, left all the people and went to the wilderness, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And then it says right after that, he was hungry. And what did the devil do? His first temptation was food. So the devil knows exactly where to get us. And if we don't constantly have that armor of God on us, protecting us, then we're going to be susceptible to an attack that the enemy hits us with. Um, And then going on, it says, Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is in all and in all. But Christ is all and in all. Um... We are all created equal uh, in Christ's eye. We are all created in His his image. Um, None of us are over one or the other. Um, That that level of judgment uh, that somebody has over you, that level um, of, you know, looking down uh, your nose at somebody, like that is nowhere close to what God has for us. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We are all sons and daughters of Christ. And so we're all to treat one another with that level of respect that God has for us and that God has given us. Um, And all of that, like like I said, judgment and um, ridiculing is all things of the world. Uh, We're not to slander one another. Uh, And so there's the things that we have to continuously put off. Again, with at the beginning of these verses, um, it says anger, wrath, malice blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another um, since you have put off the old man with his deeds. So a lot of, so all of these that are referenced here um, are um, actively against somebody. So you're angry at somebody. Uh, You have wrath. So it's like a physical uh, anger towards somebody. Malice, you do something with, uh, with intent to hurt somebody. Um, Blasphemy is you, you slander somebody. Um, filthy language out of your mouth so like crude language Um, a lot of it is just do not lie to one another it's all against somebody else and so why would we do all these things to somebody else 
if we are all created equal in the eyes of God and if we are all um, children of God. And so that's all I have for you today. Uh, hopefully that encourages you at least a little bit. Um, but that was second Col or that was Colossians three uh, verses eight through eleven.